It's always great to pay tribute to our sumo veterans outside the Yokozuna ranks, who continue to push their bodies beyond the normal sumo limit. Take Mongolian Tamawashi, for instance. Just two months shy of his 36th birthday in September, and he had to face all the biggest names competing, just six weeks after injuring his right side ribs. He was never going to sit this one out and surrender his proud record of straight appearances, now standing at 1,286. And until day 10, you really would have thought nothing wrong. He was too witty for Dai Esho on day 1. Too dogged with his pushing for Okinomi on day 3. And, for only the third time in 24 matches, too strong in the initial charge for Nemesis Mitakeumi too. The first week losses to muscle men Asanoyama and Kiribayama we can forgive, while the defeat to Takakesho on day 4 was so nearly a win, the Ozeki was certainly reeling from his hits. But the final five days yielded no wins for Tamawashi whatsoever. His high hips repeatedly exposed, especially by the Saitama Sakai club. And his armpits were breached by both Miyogiryu and Tochinoshin. He was seen dragging his right foot upwards at the end of bouts, as if in pain down there, but his thrusting power remained unaffected throughout. His dismal final third may just have been a case of the thruster's curse. Either your rhythm is good and you keep winning, or it's slightly off and you keep losing. There's not so much in between. Thirty-five-year-old Okinomi, we are sorry to say, was a huge disappointment following his first ever winning score in Sanyaku in July. With an inside left grip, he can spook even Hakuho. Without it, he desperately struggles, as a wised-up fellow veteran Miyogiryu knew on opening day. His failure to grab Takakesho's belt here, and Tamawashi's in the match already shown on days 2 and 3, suggested his Tachiai was really lacking direction. He was beaten for power by Endo in this highly spirited match on day 5. more easily beaten by Tedono Fuji on day 6. And yet, days 4, 7 and 8 saw him overpower Mitake Umi, hold his own against the mighty chest of title winner Shodai and thrust him over, and resist the power of high-flying Takano Sho. No wonder NHK pundit Kitano Fuji bemoans his inconsistency. True to form, Okinomi would only win one of his final seven, here against Tochinoshin. Day 13 brought defeat to a hardly sparkling Ryuden.
while Day 15 looked more like he was trying to save Dai Aisho's pride. Despite his 11 defeats, he only drops 3 rungs for November, which means he'll be facing largely the same opposition again. He must find a way to get that left inside. Finally, for part 1 of this instalment, here's a rarity. A Kodoshogiku win in September. That was on day 1. He only got one more by falling on top of Enho after cruelly injuring his left calf against Meisei on day 2. He wasn't up to fighting practice bouts last week, and desperately needs four working limbs if he has to clamber out of Division 2 for the first time in 15 years. If he narrowly fails, he may still continue from a similar rank in January. But, if in November he slides towards the bottom of Division 2, expect him to make full use of the Hidenoyama Elder Stock he holds. We hope, though, to see that vice-like inside left and chest surge of his properly deployed at least one more time.